A three hour standoff. Now to the Trump indictments in Georgia and Mr. Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, turning himself in this afternoon on the charges that he illegally tried to overturn the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. A Giuliani is seen entering the jail in Atlanta, the former mayor of New York City, and one time the most prolific federal prosecutors in the country. Released on $150,000 bond and facing 13 felonies, including conspiracy, solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer, and violation of the Georgia RICO Act. This afternoon after his book, he lambasted the district attorney who indicted him, Mr. Trump, and 17 others. I want to see reporter Ann J. Burke with Giuliani's arrest in Georgia. He's outside the former mayor's home here on the Upper East Side. And that's right, Bill, 66th Street here on the Upper East Side, outside the former mayor's luxury apartment here. Yes, he was uh, formally booked and charged in Georgia. In fact, authorities have just released his mugshot, the mugshot uh, coming from the Fulton County uh, authorities just moments ago. I'm going to show you that. You can see uh, Giuliani now in the mugshot. A stunning turn of events, Bill, a dramatic twist of fate for Giuliani, now facing racketeering charges, the same statute that he used to convict mafiosos now being used against him. But he remains unbowed, unapologetic, defiant. I got a minute, and that's it. Rudy Giuliani left his apartment shortly after 8 a.m., prepared to surrender to authorities in Georgia. I'm feeling very, very good about it because I feel like I'm defending the rights of all Americans as I did so many times as a United States attorney. The former mayor was defiant, predicting he would be vindicated. Giuliani arrived in Georgia aboard a chartered private jet and was later seen entering the county jail this afternoon, where he was booked, photographed, and fingerprinted. Defense attorneys ranged his bail, set at $150,000. I am being indicted because I'm a lawyer. Giuliani is a central figure in the alleged conspiracy. What prosecutors say was a plot orchestrated by Donald Trump to overturn Georgia's presidential election results. Trump is charged along with 18 others, including Giuliani and Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. The alleged conspiracy involved harassing election workers, breaching voting machines, urging Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the election results, creating false pro-Trump electors, lying to Georgia state legislators and officials, and attempting to cover up their conduct. Among the evidence, Giuliani's false testimony before a committee of the Georgia State Legislature. They look like they're passing out dope, not just ballots. Uh, it is quite clear they're stealing drugs. Yesterday, several others turned themselves in, including Trump lawyer John Eastman, accused of masterminding the fake elector scheme. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named. I get photographed. Isn't that nice? They, a mugshot for the man who probably put the worst criminals of the 20th century in jail. You find a prosecutor who has a better record of mine in the last hundred years. When asked today whether he regrets his association with Donald Trump, Giuliani laughed heartily and said it's been an honor. Trump himself is expected to surrender in Georgia tomorrow. Live tonight on the Upper East Side and Jay Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Quite a day in Georgia.